Hi, I'm Michelle Rahal with Ventu Media. Welcome to this edition of The Drive. Over the years, one of the questions that people ask me over and over again is, what kind of car do you drive? And you know what? I never really answer that, but whatever crap I hand them, it's always followed up with, what car would you drive if cost didn't matter? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a tough one. I grew up with racing cars, sports cars, from Jags to Ferraris, and I raced professionally for seven years, so any car that I'd pick wouldn't knock me out of the pure handling department. But it does deserve an answer. Unfortunately, it's in two parts. One's a sports car, and two, an acceptable semi-luxury car. Now this segment's gonna answer the sports car question. Next show, I'll answer the second. I'm gonna run down the short list pretty quickly here. The Aston Martin DBS. I mean, this car, absolutely looks and bleeds James Bond. It's got the lines, it's got the horsepower, the interior smells like your brand new leather sofa, but it still has that semi-luxury car feel. The next up is the Audi R8 GT. Let's get serious. Any car with a semi-enclosed driver cockpit, it's gonna hit my list. I don't care if it's a Yugo. And I mean that. This car is brutal, it's fast, it's got the ergonomics that everybody's looking for. But the next car up, the Corvette CZR1. I want you to think about that. This is over a hundred grand, but it kicks the crap out of every other car on this list for half the price. Next up is the Porsche 911 GT2. Now, not the GT2R, that's a race car that they put on the street. It's 620 horsepower. Far too radical for the average driver, even slightly above average driver. Next up, the Maserati Coupe. You know, this car has got the look and feel that I just imagine Angelina Jolie must have. Sometimes in the shower, I do think about it. The Lamborghini Murcielago. It's the same car underneath as the Audi R8 GT, but with that Italian chow. They're the same car underneath. Both have the same engine and the drivetrain. And finally, the Lexus LFA. Now that one's gone from the list right now because I can't stand the drive-by-wire feel and high-end Japanese cars have. So what car could it possibly be? Now this is going to surprise you. How about a 2008 BMW Z4M Coupe? I can hear Bubba going, what? Well, here's what. They handle like race cars to start with. They've got 50-50 weight distribution right out of the box. They got 330 horsepower. They fit like a glove. You can drift this car like Tanner Faust, and for 30 grand, I can buy one used. And once I've got that base car, I have the microchip, now I've got 370 horses, stainless steel exhaust from front to back, you know it's going to sound sick, stronger head gasket, adjustable shock package, rebuild the Getrax six-speed gearbox, wider tires, an adjustable sway bar package, and the sport body kit out of Europe. What have I got now for 45 to 48 grand? I got a car that'll pull King Kong out of a whorehouse, that's what. For The Drive, I'm Michelle Ray Hall. See you next show.